Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Vlog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to discuss determining the exact and ordinary interest. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, differentiate exact and ordinary interest. Number two, determine the actual and approximate time of a given problem. Number three, Solve for the exact and ordinary interest. Always remember, be persistent. Soon you will thank yourself for not giving up. What is the difference between exact and ordinary interest? Number one, exact interest, it is computed in a 365 days in a year as the time factor denominator. On the other hand, Ordinary interest, it is a type of interest wherein the number of days is computed based on 360 days in a year. Let's now try to solve this given problem. What amount should be paid on January 13, 2010 for a loan of 16,000 pesos made on July 7, 2009 at 8% simple interest using A? Ordinary interest using actual time. B, ordinary interest using approximate time. C, exact interest using actual time. And D, exact interest using approximate time. Before we proceed on the given, on solving the problem, let's now try to unlock keywords for the meantime. We will be using P for the principal amount. And the principal amount is the money that you or we borrowed. Rate of interest, it is the amount of lender charges a borrower and it is a percentage of the principal, the amount loaned. T, time period, that means the term of the loan or investment. I, amount of interest paid or received. F is the maturity value of the loan or investments. That means principal amount plus interest that is equal to maturity value. These are the formulas to be remembered to determine, to, to determine the simple interest. I is equal to principal amount multiplied by rate multiplied by time. Princip to determine the principal amount, P is equal to interest over the product of rate and time. To determine the time period, we will be using Time is equal to interest over the principal amount multiplied by rate. To determine the rate of interest, that is R, which is rate, is equal to interest over the product of the principal amount and time. To determine the maturity value of the loan or investment, that is F, which is maturity value, is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of one plus the product of rate times time, or it can be maturity value is equal to the principal amount plus the interest. First step, determine the actual and approximate time of the term. We are going to determine the actual and approximate time from July 7, 2009 to January 13, 2010. Always remain, remember that approximate time uses 30 days in every month, while actual time uses the exact number of days in every specific month. Since we will be starting from 7, we need to subtract the actual time on July minus 7. Since we have 31 days for July, 31 minus 7, the actual time for July is 24 then we will be using 30 days minus 7 for the approximate time. That is 30 minus 7. The answer is 23. August has 31 days. We are going to use 30 days for approximate time. Then September for actual time is 30 days. Approximate time is 30 days for September. For October, we have 31 days. Then for approximate time, we have 30 days. November has 30 days for the actual time, and we are going to use 30 for approximate time. For December, we have 31 days for the actual time, and 30 for the approximate time. 
since this one will be ending on 13 or this term will be ending on January 13, we will be having 13 for January, 13 days for January for the actual time and 13 days for the approximate time. Next one, we are going to add all of this to get the actual time and we are going to add all of this to get the approximate time. 24 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 13. The answer is 190. For the approximate time, 23 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 13. That is 186 days for approximate time. That is the first step. Get or find the actual time and approximate time in order for us to solve the exact and ordinary interest of a given problem. Second step, determine the given and formula to be used to solve the given problem. Here is the problem a while ago. What amount should be paid on January 13, 2010 for a loan of 16,000 pesos made on July 7, 2009 at 8% simple interest using A, Ordinary interest using actual time. B, ordinary interest using approximate time. C, exact interest using actual time. And D, exact interest using approximate time. What are the given? The principal amount or the money borrowed is 16,000 pesos. The rate of interest is 8% or 0.08. You just need to, to divide 8 by 100 to get the decimal value. So 8% or 0 0.08 for the rate of interest. For the time, we are going to use 190 for the actual time and 186 for approximate time. We are now going to find or look for the simple interest of the given problem. And we are going to find the maturity value or F. Determine the formula to be used. I is equal to PRT and or interest is equal to principal amount multiplied by rate multiplied by time. And for the maturity value is equal to principal amount plus the interest. Or it can be principal amount or maturity value is equal to the principal amount multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus the product of the rate and the time. Let's now try to solve ordinary interest using actual time. So here are the given. Since we are going to look for the ordinary interest, we are going to divide 190 over the 360 because we are using 360 days as our denominator for ordinary interest. Formula, I is equal to PRT, wherein I is equal to 16,000, which is the principal amount. 0 0.08 is the rate of interest. 190 days over 360 days is the, or time. So we are going to solve this one first. 190 divided by 360, that is 0 0.527777. Multiply multiplied by 0 0.08. Multiply by 16,000. The answer is 675.56. The interest of the ordinary interest using actual time of the given problem is 675.56. We will be looking for the maturity value, the principal amount, which is 16,000 plus the interest, that is 16,000 pesos plus. 675.56, the answer is 16,675.56. This is the maturity value and this is the ordinary interest using actual time of the given problem. B, ordinary interest using approximate time. Given P or principal amount is 16,000, Rate of interest is 8% or 0 0.08. Time is 186 over 360 because we are still solving for the in ordinary interest of appro using approximate time. Formula, interest is equal to the principal amount multiplied by rate multiplied by time. 
Principal amount, 16,000 pesos multiplied by rate of interest, which is 0.08. Then time is 186 days over 360 because we are going to solve for the ordinary interest using approximate time. You, you are going to divide this one, 186 divided by 360. The answer is 0 0.5166666. Multiply by 0 0.08, multiply by 6,000. The interest is 661.33 for the ordinary interest using approximate time. For the final value or maturity value, we are going to add the principal amount plus the interest. So the maturity value of this one is 16,000 pesos plus 661.33, the answer is 16,661.33. That is the maturity value. Next, we are going to solve for the exact interest using actual time. Given 16,000 pesos, the rate of interest is 8% or 0 0.08, and the time is 190 over 365 because we are going to solve for the in, for the exact interest and the, on the exact interest we will be using 365 days as our denominator formula i is equal to prt that means principal amount multiplied by rate multiplied by time 16000 pesos multiplied by 0 0.08 multiplied by 190 over 65 365 i'm sorry the first step Divide 190 by 365. 190 divided by 365, the answer is 0 0.5205479. Multiply by 0 0.08, multiply by 16,000, the answer is 666.30. The exact interest using actual time is 666.30. To get the maturity value or the final value, we are going to add the principal amount plus the interest. That is 16,000 pesos plus 666.30. And the final value is 16,666.30. I hope you are still with me and you are able to follow the steps. Let's now move on to exact interest using approximate time. So given 16,000 pesos, rate of interest is 0 0.08, time is 186 over 365. Because we are going to solve for exact interest using approximate time. And we were able to solve the approximate time a while ago over 365 because we are going to solve for exact interest. Formula. Interest is equal to P is equal to multi, is equal to principal amount multiplied by rate multiplied by time. That is 16,000 multiplied by 0 0.08 multiplied by 186 over 365. We are going to divide this one first. 186 divided by 365. That is 5 0 0.5095890 multiplied by 0 0.08 multiplied by 16,000. The answer is 652.27 pesos. In order for us to get the maturity value, we will be adding the principal amount plus the interest that is 16,000 plus 652.27. Then add the final value of this one is 16,000 pesos, 652.27. 16,652.27 pesos. I hope that you were able to follow our simple step for today. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Bye.